A very good morning, Fox. Hello! It's us. The 100 before 40 people. That's us. You, that you already know by now. John is number 130. What, John? 14th. No, not yet. I think this is uh, 38. I'll have to check. Yeah, it should be 38. There you go. John is 38. I am now on 83. Oh. Now, Fox, yeah. today yeah. it's not an ASA race. It's a race, too. It's a race. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> We are in what is the place called? Uh, uh, human of Cradle. Uh, cradle of Chrome guy somewhere close yeah. to the cradle of humankind. That's it. And different things. I did this race in September. I was saying to John, yeah, we go down, we go up. This year, okay, not this year. This time we're up. running the <laughs> opposite way. So the downhill that I was telling John that uh, the finish is the down, it's not there. It's not there. <laughs> we start. With the app, it's an app anyway, Fox. As you know, with the 100 before 40 things, we here we will keep updating you, yes, and you will hear about it the heat, the hills, the mountains. We pray the for rain. people, we pray all for of rain. It. We pray for rain. <laughs> John is day. praying for rain. I don't know what one today, anyway. John, oh. what's the plan today? No plan today is just to enjoy, we'll see how it goes. But definitely no speed. Nature is here. Thank of good people. Yeah, let's finish. That's and, it. And don't show them that the race is timed in case they don't see our race oh, yeah. number. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There. There it is. There it is. See? So cool. It's on another level. No so numbers cool. hanging and all so that. Cool. It's just a bracelet. So cool. Bracelet. Cool. And there, off you go. Yep. All right, folks. We'll talk to you later. Well, I'll catch Cheers. You later. Cheers. Bye. Right, Fox, we are back at it. Let us tell you what's happening. We've just crossed the 10k turnaround point. Yes. Uh, in other words, five kilometers. Oops, sorry. So the park run has already fallen. First park run. And we're still getting warmed up. In case you're wondering, what's this? My water bottle. You have to bring your water bottle. The ones that are managed have the thing. What do you call it? Camelback. Camelback. Yes. And back. it's still good. The sun hasn't come out yet. Like no, it hasn't come out to play. So it's slightly warm though. So when the sun comes out, it might be hot. It's gonna be crazy. We will keep updating you. Yes. But one thing that we didn't tell you, and I'm going to speak for myself. This is the close of 2022 for me. After that, I'll try a few park runs. I maybe. You. I believe yeah, you. Maybe. Hello, friends. Hello. There you go. Good to see ya. Good. <laughs> no, no, that's until Julian comes along and tells me there's a marathon somewhere. Yeah, well, you, uh, never, you, know. you never know. <laughs> but, you never know. But no, look, this is structured now, like a serious run. Uh, we don't just go with the flow and the wind. <laughs> I'm done for 2022. Yeah, it's a... After this, I'll be sitting, planning 2023. I can tell you. Watch out, spaghetti! Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh, you will not find me there. Spaghetti! I'm not going there. So, we'll, this is a mode life for us. We, 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 we will tell you the plan for 2023 <laughs> uh, when we get there. Spaghetti! Let us just show you something else that's life. happening. Let's cross <laughs> the road. The problem is it's a selfie, so you need to. <laughs> oh, yes! I need to run backwards, like... Uh, can you see that? Yeah. That's why we go out early in the morning to run. So, folks, we have some spectators here. I hope you can see them. I hope you can see them. Uh, they're not screaming loud enough, though. But, yeah. There you go. 
some spectators for us. Which means what? A third more to go. And that's it. I'm yeah. still strong, looking good. John is still strong. I won't lie. I'm getting now. Uh, oh, okay. I have some ITB syndrome going on. I probably shouldn't have done this race. But look, guys, shouldn't have. It's the running back. We are here, even if it means walking to the end. That's what I will do. John will drop me somewhere there. Yeah, I'm not dropping his run. We go together. Then I can limp to the end. Yeah, we go together all the way to the finish. Yeah, folks, the sun is out now. We kept saying, yeah, the weather is not bad. Blue skies. The sun is out. Blue skies. And it's hot. No heat of rain. Yes, no, never. <laughs> it shows that we're going to finish in the burning heat. The six o'clock start probably helped a lot because because we would have uh, started in the boiling temperatures. But Fox, that's what the 100 before 40 is about. Yes. You enjoy some, you suffer some, as long as you're moving forward. No pain, so, no run. Exactly. No pain, no gain. No pain, no run. As long as you're moving forward, and the good thing is this is the last one for the year, so we uh, can rest I and I wouldn't recuperate. bet on that. I don't bet not bet on it. I don't have the money to bet. I don't have the body to bet on because I'm, I'm finished. Anyway, folks, thank you. We'll keep updating you. As John said, we are almost hitting 28. That means a third more to go. We will see how it goes. Marathon done. Tough, 
hot. That's all I will say. Uh, it's a scam. I have people who have my number. They want to retire the pink tutu. It's confirmed now. Two weeks back, Julian took me to somewhere. Today, Farai had his way with me. It was a bloodbath. But, folks, it's always been a pleasure running a marathon. Marathon done. It's a very it's a good marathon. Uh, we have the name tag here and what, what, what. And I would say we ran clean. One of the few marathons I've seen where people ran clean. There was no cops along the way for a change. And we got to finish very well. Only problem might have been the water points are a bit too spread out. Uh, carrying that bottle of water for 7Ks was a challenge. But above all, I had fun. Cheers! Right, Fox is the 100 before 40, the man himself. Fox, today was a tough day at the office. I always pretend everything went well. Today, there's no amount of pretense that will save me. This was like a tough run. In September, I came, it showed me flames, and I thought I will go back in, in November and December to get my revenge. Well, the race is having the last lap tough is in the sense that it was very hot out there plus i'm battling injury i'm battling itb it was not a clever decision to come and run but folks as you know this is the 100 before 40 things if there's no pain there's no gain so we came we ran we saw we were conquered in three simple words very tough marathon that's it folks this is the end of it the end of the year We'll take a well-deserved rest and we will start again in 2023. We will tell you all about it, what the plan is for 2023 and we have some great things coming. Please keep following. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and please don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell so that you get notifications when we post something new. Cheers, folks, and thank you for following the 100 before 40. Thank you. I mean, we always have that one before the hundreds that we always will come back and yes, talk about. I can even barely open my eyes. For sure. Yeah. But you did wrong Okay, let's do this. We can't go for let me, let let me hide my eyes. <laughs> I can even... <laughs> okay. Are you recording now? Let's start now. We're recording. Okay, folks, before I go, just a disclaimer, just the fine print kind of things. Folks, you would have noticed that in this video, I do not talk about going back there to do the race or whether I encourage you to go and do the race despite the beautiful views out there, despite how clean it was out there when we ran the race. This is because, folks, by the time I did this race review, the race organizers had announced that the race would only go up to 28 kilometers, so there is no 42.2 kilometers. Therefore, I had no business to go back there or encourage you to go there and do the race. But secondly, folks, and more probably most important to most of you, is that the CGA, Central Gauteng Athletics, had announced that the Credo Cracker races, at least for 2023, that's what the notice says, are not approved by the CGA. In fact, CGA calls them illegal. So I thought you should know this fact, folks, whether you agree or disagree or whatever view you have, is just for me to tell you the facts. The fact is that the CGA says it has not approved the races. It calls the races illegal. It's up to you folks to decide whether you go and do the race or not.